I, Coach Kevin from Kaizen Academy with today's Kaizen Quips about reboots and restarts. Well, this is inspired by what I'm learning with Michael Bernhoff with courses like Call to Action. So the whole idea that we're going over today is so many of us are thwarted by our own belief structure, what we can do and what we can't do. And the people who talk through us throughout the day, if you think about that, it's us. It's you. You speak to yourself more than anyone else. We speak about seven to 10,000 words a day, but that number multiplies exponentially for self-talk. As coaches and athletes, we realize how much we need to focus on our self-talk. As an example, during the shutdown, Kaizen Academy brought in multiple guest speakers from around the world. We had Olympians, we had world champions, we had NCAA 2A champions, we had a full gamut. We brought in multiple and multiple um, guest speakers. And one of the things that the speakers kept resonating during this COVID time when they were focusing on things was they needed to work on their mental attitude, keep their mental attitude correct. In fact, one speaker, Enrico Garazzo from Italy, Olympic silver medalist who has two mental coaches. Incredible. Because what you talk about is what you focus on. Think about this. If I say, don't think about a pink elephant balancing on a polka dotted balloon holding an umbrella, it's really hard not to think about that because I've already painted that picture in, um, in your head. Yet I told you not to think about it. Our mind will focus on what you tell it to focus on. As an example, it doesn't register the do or don'ts. It really only registers the action. When I said don't think, your mind didn't think to don't or do. It just picked up, ah, oh, the elephant. We need to think about the elephant. That is the power of self-talk. This is the power of self-talk. Focus on what you want instead of what you don't want. If I say, don't talk to us for, because he has a fantastic pair of posts, what are you going to do? It's like, I should go to the four. No, you don't want to do that. Instead, let them come up with their own action. Instead, don't focus on the four. It's like, say something simple like, avoid the blade. They'll come up with their own solutions. Give them what you want not focusing on what they don't want. Bernhoff talks about once you get one of two areas or two areas under control, then you can focus on success. And the ways to do this is getting success comes from these two factors and need to get the peak emotional experience and repetition, as he calls P. Peak emotional experience is something that you can look back on with fondness and tie a strong emotion that leads to a positive experience. That helps with reinforcing in the memory. When you can reinforce those peak emotional experience with lots of emotion and lots of repetition, that equates to lots and lots of success. Have you had at least one time in your life when this challenge that is just perplexing you that is coming up, that you were successful. Things like, I was falling asleep and I woke myself before a terrible accident happened. Uh, when I'm fencing, my tip wasn't quite on target, but I still won. My legs felt super heavy, but I was still able to win because I had a fast hand. Or my head was so foggy but it allowed my pure reactions just to carry me through. I don't care if it was just one touch and it worked. For the purpose of this, for repetition at the beginning stages, this works. When you use your self-talk, use ORs if you're looking for a positive outcome. As an example, I am successful when I'm fully rested or short on sleep or my tip is off, or my legs feel just a little heavy right now, or my mind is just a little foggy right now. 
make failure hard to get. When you have things that you failed at, make those impossible to achieve. I can only, if I only have a few hours of sleep, I fail. And it happens for two weeks in a row. And I'm using someone else's equipment. And I haven't eaten in the last two days. And I haven't had a chance to properly warm up. What are the possibilities of that happening? In order to learn this, you want to make things so hard to achieve that failure. It has to be the absolute perfect storm for it to happen. You want to make it hard, nearly impossible. In order to learn, you have to act. Faith is a verb. It requires action. Just like a computer requires a three-finger salute to do a reboot, you need to take action. Believing that it can work, thinking that it can work, won't yield you the result you want. You need belief and action to get the things that you want to get things to restart. A hundred-mile walk always starts with a single step. Find out what you need to start. Restart your thoughts with success statements, with ORs. So you find when you've been successful, those P's, those peak emotion experiences, so you can build up those repetitions for success. Make your failures an almost impossibility to happen with ands. You need this, and this, and this. And this. So it has to be basically a perfect storm for failure to happen. That's the way you need to think about. Change your minds like that. Reboot your mind. Reboot your attitude. Get the mental attitude. Reboot your life with these strategies. And then you've started on your journey. Coach Kevin, Kaizen Quips.